Okay, musings by the Kamo River, drinking butter coffee. I'll get a six pack like this lady. So what question do you have? Um, so after over 10 years of doing street photography, does street photography still interest you? So I kind of go through dips and valleys that when I first started street photography, I was so excited. I was so enthusiastic. I was like, you know, there's so much new technology coming out. There's these new micro four thirds cameras, digital Leicas and whatnot. But as I got more experience in street photography and as fame started to be kind of a demon in my life is that I felt like the pressure was getting to me in a negative way is that I had to conform to other people's expectation of me as a street photographer and make certain images that got lots of likes on Facebook and Flickr and Instagram. And one of the best things I did for my photography was delete my Instagram. And even though sometimes I do feel a little FOMO, like, oh, I wish more people could see my pictures. Overall, it's helped re-inspire and re my passion for photography and street photography because I'm like, if I started off as a photographer all over again today and not have to feel the pressure of sharing my photos and get a bunch of likes, I'm so much more productive. I'm just walking around Sydney. You could tell, like, I'm just taking more snapshots, not taking it so seriously. So yeah, that's essentially being a beginner is what helped me find more passion in my street photography again. Yeah, it's very obvious. Eric's still passionate about street photography even after ten years. All right, talk to you guys soon. Stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>